Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'd like to discuss the incredibly cool firmware update that DJI recently released for the Mavic 3 Pro. Now I know it's been a couple of weeks since the firmware update came out, but I've been out there in the field testing it because there are some features in this firmware update that I just think are absolutely incredible. Now firmware updates are something that's a pretty regular occurrence for DJI. They'll figure out something with the drone that may not have been perfect at launch or maybe they had to delay a couple of features because the drone wasn't quite ready or the software wasn't ready. So they'll periodically release new firmware that you can download directly to the drone to improve those things that needed a little bit of tweaking or every now and then they'll introduce new features that weren't in the drone when it was first released and those are the most exciting for me and honestly over the years DJI's introduced some pretty cool things in their firmware updates but I have to tell you this latest firmware update from DJI has features in it that I think are sort of a watershed moment for the way drones are flying because they involve augmented reality now augmented reality has been used in a lot of different things a lot of different technologies so for example there's two types of realities augmented and virtual. Now when you're flying FPV, that's a virtual reality environment. You've got the goggles on your face, you're completely immersed in that environment, and it sort of transports you into the lens of the camera on the drone when you're flying the drone. That's an incredibly cool experience. But augmented reality has been around for as long or even a little bit longer than virtual reality. And what augmented reality does is take what you're viewing, whether it's on a tablet or through a pair of glasses, and it superimposes other information in that environment that's very specific for that environment. So for example, if you've ever gone to one of the bigger museums, you can get glasses that when you're walking around the museum and you look at a statue, you can tap the side of the glasses and all kinds of information will come up about that statue or about that artist or the history of a painting or something like that. So what it's doing is it's basically enhancing your experience that you would normally have just looking at something. Well, that's what DJI is moving into with these new firmware updates. So they've introduced four features that I think are pretty cool. And honestly, they're groundbreaking because nobody else has done them up to this point. And I bet you a lot of other companies are going to see them and you're going to see them roll out to their products in the future. But there are four of them. And I could have easily put a clip together where I talked about all four of them in one clip. But I think they're important enough where I'd like to break them into separate clips. So today I'm gonna to talk about one of the features and then I'll have follow-on clips that talk about the other three. So the four features they've introduced are AR Home Point, which is the one I'm gonna talk about today, AR Aircraft Shadow, which is an incredibly cool feature that'll help you land, AR Return to Home, which again, <laughs> augmented reality used in its best form. And then the final one is Vision Assistance. And that's the one that I've been spending a lot of time trying to figure out exactly what it gets me when I'm out there in the field. But let me get back to the one I want to talk about today. It's AR Home Point. Now I'm going to take you out in the field and show you how it works. But what this particular feature is designed to help you with is all of us go out and fly. And when you're flying your drone more than a couple of hundred feet away from you, it can get a little bit scary because you're out there and the drone's way off in the distance. It gets even more tense when you're flying around trees or around buildings because you can get involved with the actual video you're filming and you kind of lose sight of where your home point is. Now, you can certainly hit the return to home button and the drone will elevate to height and spin and turn fly back to where you took off, but it would be good to know where you are. And you're not supposed to lose visual line of sight, but all of us do occasionally. So what this feature does is it actually puts a beacon on the screen of where the home point is relative to where the drone is currently flying. So it constantly gives you a home point. I, I'm gonna call it a digital string from where you're at back to your home point. It's a, it's a digital breadcrumb trail back to your home point. So when you're flying on the screen, there'll be an H around the outside of the screen that'll always point to where that home point is. So if you're facing this direction and there's an H on this side of the screen over here, turn the drone and you'll be facing the home point. Now think about that. If you're out flying over a lake or you're flying in the woods and, and you're flying and having fun and all of a sudden you realize the battery's down to 30%, you wanna start heading home. Now you're supposed to know where home is and you can look at the map and kind of figure it out. But this AR or augmented reality home point just makes it so much easier and it's, it's a tremendous peace of mind knowing I can find my home point by looking at the screen and knowing if I turn 90 degrees this way, I'm facing the home point and I can fly in that direction. So I'm gonna take you out in the field and show you how it works and then I'll come back at the end and talk a little bit more about it. But I wanna give you the information you need to do this firmware update and I recommend you do this firmware update as soon as you can because it fixes a few other things with the uh, Mavic 3 Pro, but these three features or four features are something you're gonna to wanna to play with. So here are the update numbers you need. So the firmware was released on September 5th and the aircraft firmware will update to V01.00.1200. If you're using the RCN1 remote controller, that firmware will update to V04.13.1000. 
If you're using the DJI RC controller, that firmware will update to V01.03.0500. And if you're using the DJI RC Pro remote controller, that firmware updates as well to V03.02.0500. And the DJI Fly app will also update to V1.11.4. And again, if you go to the DJI page for the Mavic 3 Pro, just hit the download uh, link at the top and then read through the release notes. It'll tell you exactly what you're going to get. And those numbers are in there as well. I just wanted to give them to you so you'll have them. So stay tuned next. I'm going to go out in the field and show you how this works. I can't help but get excited when something like this comes out because I love technology. And when they improve technology, especially something I already own, I got to get excited about it. So stay tuned. We'll head out in the field and then I'll come back with some final thoughts about what happens during the upgrade because it's really important you do it the right way. So stay tuned, we'll head out in the field. AR Home Point is a pretty cool feature that DJI is adding to some of their newer drones through a simple firmware update that will give you a visual indication of where your takeoff point is relative to where you're flying your drone. And it can provide a lot of peace of mind, especially if you're flying in a wooded area like this, and maybe you've taken the drone around the corner and gone down the field a little bit, and you've kind of lost your bearings. You're not sure, do I come back this way? Do I go that way? Where's my home point? Now, you can certainly hit the return to home button, and the drone will elevate to height and fly back and land where it took off. But what AR Home Point does is it puts a visual representation of the home point on your screen through augmented reality, so you always know where that home point is. So all you have to do is sort of look for the H with the circle around it, and you'll see it around the outskirts of the screen, spin the drone in the air until the home point's in front of you, and then fly back in that direction, and you'll be heading back to your takeoff point. And I think it's incredibly cool that the engineers at DJI are sitting down every day and they're thinking about, gee, we got this drone up in the air, we know where the takeoff point was because we've marked the GPS position. We've sometimes taken a visual picture of that takeoff point. Wouldn't it be cool if we built in augmented reality that showed the flyer exactly where that home point was relative to where the drone is currently? And I think it's a great feature. Now, what I'm going to do next is I've got the Mavic 3 over there, the Mavic 3 Pro. I've just done the firmware update, so I've got the latest version of it on there. I'm going to put the drone up and I'm going to fly it around the corner. I'm going to do a screen capture to show you where that home point indicator is and then I'll spin the drone so you can see how that home point indicator moves because it's technically or digitally locked to my takeoff point right there. So it's constantly, I don't know, it's got like a digital string back to that, <laughs> that takeoff point. So it always knows where it is and it can help me get back home safely. All right, so let's get going. Let me put my glasses on first because it's getting a little dark here and I'm getting a little bit old. So I'll throw these guys on. All right, now let me spin up the props. Check complete, we're good. I'll spin up the props. Let me start a screen recording here so we can see exactly what the screen looks like. All right, now I'm gonna put the drone up. Let's see what happens. All right, props are spinning. We're up in the air. You take it up a little higher. I'll take it downfield. Just updated my home point. I'll fly around the corner so we lose sight of it a little bit. I'm low here in the field, so we're gonna be really, really careful. All right, now if you look at the screen, you're gonna see the little H over to the right there. Now watch what happens when I spin the drone because it knows, it knows at this point that it's facing that direction a little bit around the corner and I'm way over here. So let me spin the drone and watch what happens to the H. It moved, it moved, now it's down the bottom. Now I'll spin this direction. Now I'm gonna go a little further. Now let me elevate, let me get up a couple hundred feet here. I'm at uh, 80 feet, 90 feet. And what I'm gonna do is point the camera down as I elevate and I'll spin the drone towards the home point or where I think the home point is and you'll see the H pop up. See the H chasing around the edge of it there? Now I know it's to the right. I'm spinning a little further, a little further, a little further. Come on, where's that home point? Keep spinning. Uh oh, it's coming in. There we go. So here I am in the video and that home point is right on the blue map right there. So all I'm gonna have to do at this point, because I feel confident that I know where the drone is and it knows where the home point is, I can just fly back towards the home point. And I can descend as I'm coming back very carefully because there's a lot of trees there. Rick, be really careful. We had an incident a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Remember the trees, be careful. And there we go. So what this does for you is it's taken advantage of augmented reality, which is kind of a cool technology. It's basically a visual like we're looking at here. So we're seeing the camera but augmented reality takes information from either GPS coordinates or information in the background, and it superimposes that on the screen to really enhance the view of what you're looking at. In this case, I can see my drone, I should say, I can see the landing mat, but I've got that beautiful little H there telling me that's the home point. Now, just for kicks, let me spin it around. 
and you'll see that home point move. Now it's telling me, Rick, you got to go to the right. It's over there on the right. No, go back the other direction. <laughs> this is tremendous. And so many times we're flying the drone and you get caught up in the day and you're watching the drone over a lake or something and, and you lose sight of it for a second. And we've all had that moment of panic where you're thinking, I'm pretty sure it's over there, but do I come back this way or do I go away? And what I used to do in the old days was just fly it a little bit. And if my distance is increasing, I know I'm heading the wrong direction, but if you're going off at an angle, it's really tough to predict that. So I love the fact that this is now on the screen and it's on a lot of their drones. So this is a feature that, again, DJI is out ahead of the curve with thinking about things that we're gonna like as drone flyers and they're building them into their drones to enhance the experience. And this was a free firmware update. So you're getting this new feature on a drone that's been out for a while for free because they thought about it and they built it into the firmware. So I've taken my off this drone way too long. Let me land this guy because I'm breaking every rule there is out there. All right, I'm coming in for a landing. Let's see if I can put it down on the mat. All right, pretty close. All right, I'm gonna point down so I can see what's going on. There's the mat. You bring her down a little bit. Way off, Rick, not even close. I'm in some pretty tall grass here, so this is going to be interesting. Of course, the, of course, the propeller wash is moving the mat around. There we go. Come on down. Come on. There we go. Perfect. No. There we go. Doesn't like it. It doesn't like the landing zone. It's seeing all the grass underneath it, and it's stopping the landing. Anyway, you can see what this uh, AR home point can do for you. And again, at the end of the day, anything that makes my flying a little bit more fun or a little safer is something I'm definitely interested in. So hopefully you found this review helpful. Now stay tuned, I've got a few more comments after this. Okay, so tell me that's not impressive. I think that's an incredibly cool feature and it may seem like a small thing, but if you've ever been out in the field and you've lost a sense of where the drone is relative to your home point, the only option you really have is either to fly for a little bit to see if you're flying further away or flying closer. You gotta kinda guess where it is. You can look at the map and try and figure it out from there. And I like using the map and that's what I've used up till now. But that can take a little bit of time to get used to. And the challenge is if you get low on battery, maybe you get down to 30 or 35%, all of a sudden your blood pressure starts cranking up because you're thinking, I have to find my home point and I have to get back there pretty quickly to land because I don't want to get under 20% of my battery. So what this feature does is it's constantly telling you where the home point is relative to your flying position, which I think is amazing because I immediately know that I've got, you know, my home point's behind me because the H is down the bottom. I'll spin the drone 180 degrees and head back to home. I think it's incredible. Now, as far as the firmware update goes, it's important you do the update at, at the same time with your controller, the drone, and the batteries because firmware updates in general may touch a lot of things. They don't always just touch the drone. So they may touch the drone, they may try to uh, touch the software in the controller, they may actually touch the controller software in the battery. So it's really important when you do the firmware update, you finish the drone, it may update the controller, but if you've got a battery in the drone at that point, you're gonna wanna rotate all your batteries through the drone to make sure that there wasn't something that touched those batteries. And I've had that happen on drones before where I've done the firmware update, I was so excited to get out in the field and fly, that I flew, you know, I ran out in the field, put the drone up and realized I had an update the other batteries. And when you get out in the field, it's gonna say firmware update required, incompatible versions of firmware. So take your time, do the drone, you can do it over the air. It'll update the controller possibly, it's got new firmware for this one in particular, but in general, it'll update the controller and it may update the batteries, but rotate your batteries through. So do the firmware update, power down the drone, take another battery, slide it in, power up the drone, connect to the application and see if it recommends a firmware update. If it does, you've got to update the battery and then do the last one. But it's a, it's a wonderful firmware update. And again, I don't normally get excited about firmware updates. I don't even put clips together anymore on them because most of the adjustments they're making are minor because when they release a drone, it's pretty fully featured. But in this particular case, I really felt like it needed a couple of clips to explain it because I've had a few people ask about it and I, I am excited as can be about this firmware update. So I'll stop talking about it. I know I'm probably boring you at this point, but get the firmware update, update your Mavic 3 Pro, and you're gonna really enjoy these features. And I'm promising you, this is a groundbreaking moment using augmented reality as part of a drone flight and information that makes the pilot a little, little smarter in the air. You're gonna see other people copying this for sure. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for the other three clips I'm gonna be doing on this because you're gonna have questions about those as well. And as cool as AR home point is, I think those other three 
are just or maybe even more cool than this particular one. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you guys are getting a lot of airtime out there. It's been a great summer for me. I've had a lot of flight time. I hope you're getting the same. Thanks so much for watching and for tuning into the channel on a regular basis. And until next time, as always, <laughs> happy flying. Thank you.